Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the sixth episode of season three of Classic Doctor Who. This one is entitled The Temple of Secrets and the story is The Myth Makers. Now this recap might be short. It's going to be different. Some of you may have seen my update towards um, and about Classic Who season three. Um, I've already listened to this story on audio, but because the plan was because I at the time I could not find the um rec any reconstructions. I didn't even realize that I'd gotten to the point where I didn't think that any existed. Because silly me forgot about um the wonderful loose cannon reproduction. Okay, I forgot about completely forgot about Daily Motion, but look, thankfully somebody um reminded me of that and I was able to find them. And I've revised my plan for what I'm doing for season three. Now, as I said, I've listened to all of this story. I've listened to the first episode of Dalek's Master Plan. I have reacted to the, the second episode of Dalek's Master Plan. And I've listened to the third and fourth episodes of Dalek Master Plan. OK, but because I now know about these reconstructions uh, and I thought you guys might want to see some of my reaction to this story because I'm gonna for you now. I really enjoyed it. This is the thing. Um, I've decided to go back and do the reconstructions. I will each week be make a kind of disclaimer saying that I've listened to the story. But if you've been here before, you will know that my memory's not so good, and I forget things obviously and things like that. I well, I forgot about daily motion and the reconstructions, which I feel so silly about. <laughs> ridiculous about now like i've done i've used loose cannon stuff before but um yeah so the plan is to go through and do all the reconstructions for season three but um yeah so i've hey i've already reacted to the 11th episode i think it was i think it's episode 11 of the season and here i am episode six <laughs> I think it's episode 11, that's the second story. But yeah, so that one is going to be, is up on that reaction. If you want to somehow see my reaction to that episode already, it is already, already up on Patreon. The Patreon is getting that multiple weeks early, but the other ones, you'll come out week by week. So um, I don't have to have homework of listening to the episodes on top of everything else as well so it's actually going to be a lot easier so yes yeah, so for the next this episode is coming out straight to youtube and next week the next episode is going to be straight up on patreon those are going to happen on the same day so i'm doubling up my work for this weekend for this this is sunday very late sunday and also for monday whilst i'm going to be editing them both hey and on top of reacting to the next studio ghibli movie on Monday evening as well. Hi. So yeah, like like I don't have enough to do as it is. I'm giving myself more work, but not having to listen to stuff, so it's kind of that. But yeah, um, the last episode was the reconstruction of Mission to the Unknown, which is kind of a setup for which was not kind of it was a setup for Dalek's master plan, which I kind of like so far. Again, disclaimer for that. Um, I thought it was really well done. The mission to the unknown. Apologies if I've forgotten a lot of it. I haven't, but my it's still in there, but not enough for um a recap. It's the way my brain works. It's so flipping frustrating to put it politely. But when I'm rewatching stuff, it's also handy because it's almost like I'm semi watching it for the first time again. It's very weird. But it was really good. I thought the yeah, the Mark was it Mark Crory, but the lead guy that turned out to be an agent. I thought he was really good. They reconstruct like re recreated like kind of the mannerisms and stuff like that from that era really well. I feel, and they made it look quite good for like looking like that era. I love how they had the um original lead guy from the episode doing an introduction. There was no doctor, no companions or anything like that it was their week off which i was really interesting 
it's like people can like obviously people like blink in modern who but there are some people that's like going there barely any doctor i wonder what they think of mission to the unknown but yeah it was a nice setup for dalek's master plan but we're going back into this one and luckily um like i listened to all of the story i know the thing about vicky but i can't remember the guy's name i know it's to do with troy i will recap i will um, recall stuff as we go along quite like quite possibly if i recall stuff i will be honest but as i said my memory's terrible I'm re I'm reacting to um Red Dwarf all again, and I've watched all of it up till watched season nine, the two episodes of season nine of Red Dwarf. Nothing after that. So at the moment, I'm still doing re reactions to that, but I don't recall everything. But then again, that's been years. Then again, my memory's just terrible. But we'll see how this goes. Apologies for this um really messy intro recap ish thing. And yeah, this is um on Daily Motion. I'm not going to link to it in the description or in the pinned comment because I don't want them get to get done for copyright. But it's easy to find on through Google and stuff like that. You just episode title, Doctor Who episode title. You can find it quite easily. And I can't believe I fucking didn't even think about doing that. I but yeah, I'm not going to link to it, but it's easy to find. Okay, so we're going to get going. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. This feels really weird. Re, re reacting ish to classic Doctor Who or re watching it because I don't really have the time to do it. I will say. Picture's not that good, but then again, it's, I'm assuming it's from set photos. I don't know how they've done these reconstructions. So I don't know what kind of photos have redone, but um, I know like set photos from Marco Polo survived, but that was condensed as well, What the reaction I did. I wish I'd done the full four. But yeah. Trojan Warriors searching the... Oh, cool, there's descriptions, but my God. That, my eyes don't like how that went across. Out of breath so soon, my light foot princeling. Uh -huh. Patroclus led me further and made better sports. Murderer. Patroclus was a boy. A boy? Well, he died like a dog. I really liked this story, listening to it. It's going to be very weird not having the connecting description. Oh, God, the faces on top of there are look really bizarre. What? Because they've obviously... So anxious to be gone. Taken, um somebody else's face and put it over the top or something like that it's really strange but i'm glad for the writing description yeah the faces are very bizarre for some reason i imagine this like in like a wooded area not like this this is going to be very strange i don't know if this has been like redone and the weird face is put on top. That is going to be so bizarre. Or if it's taken from something else. I don't know. But the fight goes on for a while. A few minutes. Or not a few minutes. Because that would be too much of the episode. But you know what I mean. Please. Achilles flee. Okay, I forgot about that. Oh, whoa. Okay, it's superimposed from something else because I can see it's from something else. Okay. And they put the actors from the episode's faces on top. Okay, that's cool. No, I'm not sure, my child. You'll notice they're wearing Grecian costumes. You don't seem to have noticed that. Do you want the poem? That's hardly surprising in the circumstances. Hmm. No doubt their reasons will be entirely adequate. Maybe listen, you might have heard the names. Perhaps I'd better go and ask them where oh, we are. To be careful. They're fighting, Doctor, and he wants to go talk to them. If you take notice of them, I think they're doing more talking than they are fighting. I think I'd better go and ask them where we are. Doctor, you can't. You know if you go out there by yourself, now, you can't. We're seeing Vicky again. Sorry. You stay here and keep an eye on Vicky. Besides, I don't think your present humour is fitting for the occasion. You know, I don't think they'd appreciate your kind of sarcasm. <laughs> He can be. I like. 
I do like Stephen. No. And Troy itself is doomed to fall at their bidding. Hey. Even as you are, you cannot stand against them. You pretend that all. I'm so glad my memory is terrible because, like, I remember like the outline of stuff, but not I the details. I to trim his beard for him if he dare attempt it. Beware the voice of Zeus, Hector. Beware the anger That's of Olympus. Right. All right, up here, the thunder, you superstitious, dark, dodging decadent. Oh dear. The insult. The insult? I can't even talk. I challenge you. Descend to us and save him. And there goes the doctor. Started by the sudden emergence of the doctor. It's distracted. Achilles runs him through. Stop. His thought and then kicks him. You have killed this poor fellow. Oh, but in your name. Uh -huh. In my name, indeed. Get up. Huh, huh. The doctor playing on them, believing he's Zeus, or Zeus thinking of Zeus. Rise. What is this? What is it you take me for? The father of the gods and ruler of the world. What? Oh, that's right. He didn't know yet. And who might you be, may I ask? Achilles, mightiest of warriors. The face is weird, but I'll, I'm getting used to it. And this, uh, this friend of yours must be Hector, uh, Prince of Troy, sent to Hades for blasphemy oh. against the gods it's of. It's really Greece. cool having this kind of story, like doing the, the myth of Troy. If you had appeared to me in your true form, I would have been truly blinded by your radiance. Of course. So do I. Do, do you really <laughs> <you're incredible? laughs> I love the first doctor. Yes, well, thank you. I'm glad to meet you. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to my temple. It's back to the TARDIS, but Achilles bars his way. And implore you to remain. Well, I don't see why I should. Yeah. I have many other commitments, you must understand. In the camp of Agamemnon, our general. Oh, hear me out, I pray. For ten long years now, we have laid siege to Troy. Get a nice bit of um, history. This might not be a long edited reaction because I don't know how much I'm going to talk. Lisa docks her way towards a nearby ridge. I'm going to try and read those as well to help you guys. Where's he off to now? That's a fine time to go looking oh, at the view. Oh. oh, that's why he went out there to find out where we are. We've actually got footage. He's probably showing him the way to the nearest town. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, that was cool. Oh, wow. We've actually got a few seconds. That was cool. Ooh, nice. I'm assuming it's borrowing from different, like, films and stuff like that for the reconstruction. For some reason, I really assumed there was loads of woods everywhere. So far from camp, all unprotected from a prisoner? Odysseus, there is no prisoner. Odysseus, okay. Are there no Trojan throats to slip that you dare tempt my sword? Throats enough, I grant you. Some half score Trojans will not The are really good. Tonight. Or the voices were anyway, for this one. What a year this is for plague. Even the strongest might fall. Prince Hector, huh, that he should come to this. You met him here, you say, as he lay dying. I met him, Odysseus, in single combat. Exactly, yes. And raced him round the walls till down he fell exhausted. Doesn't believe that Achilles could do it. But tell me, Lightfoot, what of Zeus? You say he intervened and then... He's right here. Right there he stands and listens to your mockery. Oh, yes, I find it most interesting. <laughs> 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 this old man, this red bag, great thing. Oh, come, Achilles. It's oh, going to be interesting to see what um, images are from the actual episode or not, because... What oh. have we here? Odysseus moves over to the TARDIS. Oh, He's coming in. Hey. Okay. Now the doctor will stop him. I must go out and help. No, be careful. It's interesting. I really can't remember stuff. A large spanner? I don't remember that. <laughs> a trifle modest, is it not, for so powerful a god? This is my travelling temple. Being small, it's... Exactly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you shall not enter. Like you said, he takes many forms. Go oh, well to the Grecian camp. If you indeed be Zeus, we have need of your assistance. Now, do not call their lives. Should I really fall? I, if I was a doctor, I'd be like, should I really fall to your insult? You've been insulting me and this fine warrior. You're not worthy. I don't know. I'd come up with something so I could get away. Of your company at supper, and perhaps a tale or two of Aphrodite. I refuse <laughs> to enter into any kind of vulgar baudry. Then you shall tell us why... We find you lacking near our lines. That should prove equally entertaining. Take him, lads. He's... 
going to be suspicious, obviously. I'm rightfully so. The doctor shrugs off the guards and proudly walks away. Okay. You will pay for this, Odysseus. Ah, oh, will I? We shall see. This much and must... Does he take credit? You would think he would. Seems like a type of person would. Carrying Hector's body, Odysseus and the guards head towards the Greek camp. You will not laugh so loud, I think. When I can mend one... Achilles sheaths his sword and heads off to the camp by a different route. Like, because... Odysseus? Yeah. I'm getting confused with names. He seems like the type of person that would take credit. Just from that scene alone. Picks up Hector's helmet and then the patrol turns and looks at the TARDIS. This is Trojans, right? Did I miss that part? I am going after him. I'm sure he's been taken prisoner. Oh, come on. The big laughing. Didn't look as though the doctor made a this joke. This is so cool. Oh, my God. Well, the doctor said there were Greeks. We're probably in Greece. I can't believe we've actually even got some, several seconds of footage. Even if it's just these little bits. That's so cool. Somebody's obviously filmed like a TV screen. Well, I'm coming with you. And how far do you think you can get on that ankle? It's not so bad now. I... That's right, her ankle. Rest your ankle. Watch the scanners. You'll be perfect. I knew she had a bad ankle at some point. I forgot it was this. I hope you find the doctor, that's all. This is so cool. I can't believe we've actually got a bit, little tiny bits of surviving footage. That's amazing. And East Loose Cannon Productions have done well in putting this all together. Why can't you learn to behave like a king instead of a dropsical old camp follower? <laughs> Try to remember that you're my brother, can't you? One of the reasons I Manalis. do Agamemnon is... Agamemnon, that's the other one, yeah. Another is this ridiculous Trojan expedition. We've been here for ten years. I want to go home. Yeah, he's got to find some enjoyment somewhere. What's the matter with you, man? Don't you want to get Helen back? Don't you, don't you want to see your wife again? After ten years? You must know, I was heartily glad to see the back of that. <laughs> it wasn't the first time she'd allowed herself to be abducted. I can't keep on going off to the ends of the right. earth to get her back. It makes me a laughing strike. It's been ten years. You haven't seen her in ten years. You don't know what she looks like anymore. She might be a completely different person mentally as well. It isn't enough for you that you control the Achaean League, is it? Now you want to take over Asia Minor as well. Only King Priam of Troy stands in your way. Ah, uh, okay. Don't blame me because you've landed us into a full-scale war. Yes, but I did challenge Paris, if you remember, ten years ago. Fellow wouldn't accept. <laughs> He's just about as cowardly as you are. Yeah, that tends to be the general thing for Paris in different productions, doesn't it? Or not cowardly, but... Well, in that but... case, why don't you challenge someone it's else? Interested. Challenge Hector. Hector? You have a bit of a problem with that, buddy. You don't know until you've tried it, do you? Hey, it's been killed <laughs> now. I think that's a pretty good idea of yours. Oh. <laughs> so you want to see me killed, is that it? Pretty Isn't much, probably. To you? A brother's on help. Does that mean he'd be king if his brother died? That's why I shall issue the challenge in the morning on your bar. Right, on my bar. Hey, king. Hector is dead. What? Oopsie, that changes your plan. <laughs> There's another good idea wasted. <laughs> what do you mean, wasted? Yeah, oh, yes, 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 Sorry, hey? <laughs> he's been listening to too much propaganda, haven't you, Achilles? <laughs> you mustn't think... I recognise this guy's voice. I can't remember if I looked it up or not. Where is he now, this little old Zeus? He was about to accompany me here when Odysseus yeah. and his men arrived. They took him prisoner. Of course but Odysseus did. Then they seized him and are bringing him to camp. I ran ahead to warn you. And get... It's a good idea that he did it, because then he gets his version of the story in there first before Odysseus can claim all the glory. He may, in fact, be Zeus. Dad! You gotta be careful. Go find the Lord Odysseus. And because if he is Zeus, you don't want to insult him, do you? Yikes! One of the Trojan soldiers crawls towards the TARDIS. Oh God, that sounds oh. Carefully places a plaque at the foot of the TARDIS and quickly retreats. I don't remember that part from the story, but then again, I think because I was like listening to it as I walk along, I was missing stuff. So getting to redo it. I might be noticing stuff 
or listening to stuff I haven't seen before. You may rise. Some, is this a photo from the actual episode? I can't tell. It seems like it. I have that honour. As I have always understood. Or post photo or something. He just appears to be a law unto himself. Huh. He makes fun of his guests and laughs at that he does. If I am not They're a right god, I'll give you account for my supernatural knowledge. Hmm? Knowledge of what? Yeah, he hasn't proven that yet, Doctor. Your wife, for instance, is unfaithful to you. What? <laughs> Everybody knows Everyone it. Everyone knows that. That I didn't remember, I just guessed. <laughs> If I were an enemy, what could one man do no, do alone and unarmed against the glory that is Greece? Very true, very true. An old man as well. The man is a spy. Deal with him and be brief or I shall undertake it for you. I shall be most happy to oblige Lightfoot. They love and... Titan, don't they? This is time for thought, not sword play. Uh, since my thoughts are so of cool. such little account, allow me to withdraw. And he does leave. But this is really cool, like, because, like, before I had to recreate him, like in my mind and come up with it, but now, like, I, if I listen to it again, I'll be able to s picture all this, uh, like this reconstruction. Like I had a, I f had thought that they were in the midst of trees. That's what my the head first pictured. I would like to know: Am I to be treated as a god or as an enemy? How about as a guest for now? That would be a good idea. But I must return to my tie. My temple. temple, a reverend arrest. You must not be offended. We shall enjoy the benefit of your experience and your advice, and in return, yeah. you will enjoy our hospitality. Very well. Excellent. I don't blame him. Like, he's got to be extra careful. Like, but he doesn't want to insult Zeus if he is Zeus. But he also wants to be careful in case he is a spy. Nearby, Stephen is cautiously making his way towards the Greek camp. Suddenly, he sees a Greek patrol approaching. Are we getting footage again? Oh my god, we are actually getting footage! Lots of Steven, it seems, but oh my god! I can't believe there's actually surviving f little bits of surviving footage. This is so cool! Steven is about to move off when another Greek patrol marches past. This is so freaking cool! Like, whoever. Okay, I think that's actually the same bit again. But whoever filmed their TV like this, thank you so much! This is so freaking cool! Once the patrol has passed, Stephen emerges from hiding and watches them move away. Same bit again. And it stops it before it goes back down. Okay. But it works. It works. We get some moving footage. With the patrols out of the way, Stephen continues his search for the doctor. Okay. Ten. Odysseus is eavesdropping. Of course Odysseus is freaking eavesdropping. Totally seems like the type of person that would. Huh. I'm so happy for the... The scroll. A one-eyed man taps Odysseus on the shoulder and startles him. Cyclops. <laughs> My little Cyclops. Death for this guy has got two eyes. Cyclops gestures with his hands to communicate to Odysseus. Ah, the other stranger. Another stranger. They've both got two eyes. Cyclops continues to make gestures and shapes with his hand. Okay, he's just got one eye closed. You think he is my enemy? Yeah. He's standing up, but then he sat down. Well. Now, my little This chat. is an image straight from the episode, but you can see the actress eye open. Did you come? She used Cyclops away. So Cyclops isn't like a mythical creature. He's an actual man who just hopes missing an eye. Please, Steve. Oh, Odysseus sees him. Shit. Grabs him by the shoulders and spins him round. I saw no sentry. Then perhaps they are sleeping with a knife between their ribs. Shall we go seek them together? I don't like Odysseus. But he's best to be cautious in this moment. That god who feasts yonder, that Trojan spy, <laughs> I don't know him. Do you not? We shall see. Grabs Stephen and flings him into the tent. He is a Trojan spy, but of such undoubted divinity, he must be spared. Are you a <laughs> Trojan, fellow? No, of course not. I'm just a traveller. Yeah. You know this man? Only no. for what he seems to be. An acquaintance from Olympus come to meet his father. My father? I've never seen him before in my life. Not enough. Take <laughs> it away, Odysseus. <laughs> the faces of the poor images are hilarious sometimes. Hey, come for insolence and make an end. Yay! All seeing Zeus. What do you say? You've seen into our very hearts and know their secrets. Quite so. Then is this man a spy? I no. do not know and I do not care. It's very true. He's got to say he doesn't know because he can't admit he knows Stephen. Now we have it. On second thought, you think we should release him to return to Troy? 
Do not mock me, my lord Odysseus. Huh. Would you stain the tent of Agamemnon's with a Trojan's blood? Exactly. I claim this man as a sacrifice to Olympus. Bring him to my temple in the plain. With sunrise in, in the, the morning. In the plain? Okay, why did I picture it was in the middle of um trees? Again, because I was walking and all that kind of thing, I missed bits about planes and stuff like that, so I completely disregarded it. Cyclops is escorted by two guards. Okay, that was from the episode because he's actually got his eye closed. For once he spoke too loud for comfort and uh -huh. stammered on a knife, but he sleeps to me. Get you gone and wait for me. Thunder at the temple okay. tomorrow, did you say? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, weather is so unpredictable. How does he do thunder, though? Does he do thunder? I can't remember. Your temple! As you call it, has disappeared. Ooh. <laughs> Into thin air. Well, poop. And there we go. But the, sy the symbol's there, but the TARDIS is gone. Well, that got a pitch. Is this it? Small profit, quick return. Okay. <laughs> like, the, like the little, like, um... I can't remember what it says, but, um... Hang on, let's carry on. Alan Hayward, Odysseus, Iris Salter, Francis de... Francis de Wolf, I know that name. I'm going to look that up after I've done this. But um, it was really interesting actually watching it because, like, I'm glad they had the descriptive um, text at the bottom. That helped because I was worried without um, having the connecting um, dialogue, which I believe was Peter Purvis, Stephen. I believe it was him. It's like I haven't heard his vo like, voice in years, apart from obviously watching him as Evans. So I can't, I don't know what he sounds like now or in recent years. I can't remember, but I believe it was him. But it's it's really nice seeing images like what the, like images have used from other media and stuff like that. It's really helpful. It's like, and like, as I said, it's really interesting getting to watch this again because of the fact that um. I miss stuff. I think that, like, I probably miss stuff now because I was trying to listen carefully and also trying to talk to you guys. Apologies that I haven't talked as much, but it's difficult to listen and watch and also try to see the descriptive text. There's a lot going on. But, like, I missed the comment about the planes. My head just defaulted to being in amongst trees. I think it was the... Oh, I can't... What was the name of the story? The one with King Arthur and um, Julian Glover. I think maybe my head just devoted to making it look like that. That kind of forested area. I I don't know why, but that's what I defaulted to in my head. So I hadn't, because I missed the comment about the planes, I, I defaulted to something completely different, which makes no sense because of, like, in different media and stuff like that. Like, I, I, like, I know of the story of Troy and the... Uh, Horse and all that kind of thing, but I've not seen too many. I've not obviously I've not read. I've not read the um Odyssey and all that kind of thing. I've not read it, but um I've not seen many productions, movies, and things like that about it. The only movie I can recall off the top of my head was Troy, with like Brad Pitt, Orlando Bloom, and stuff like that. Because I saw that in the cinema, and I own it somewhere. No, actually not. I never owned it because I always wanted a special edition of it. I could, I wanted the two disc edition. I could only, I've only ever been able to find the one disc edition because I don't think they do the two disc edition anymore. And I'm really fucking annoyed. So I actually quite enjoyed it. Not completely accurate, but it was fun at the time. But that's pretty much all I know. So like that, they're on. There's a lot of sand and desert and that kind of thing. And I can't believe I defaulted to trees. So it's just going to be really interesting. Like, it's going to be really interesting. Unfortunately, now because I would be reacting to the next episode tonight because I'm putting that one up on Patreon the same day that this one's going up on YouTube. But it's quarter past 12 at night. And I have no idea what day, time my daughter's waking up in the morning. And I got to get her up, get her breakfast, get her ready for school. And then I might be able to have time to react to it. When I come, when we've dropped her off to school, but then I've got other stuff to do, and then I've come back, and then I've got to edit both. Oh, it's going to be a busy day. And because, like, I can't go too late. I'm going to have to 
force myself to focus because I can't go too late into the evening because I'm reacting to um, Studio Ghibli's Princess Mononoke in the evening. And that's like two hours or so long. Apparently, I think. I looked on the DVD. But, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I was planning on reacting to... 14th episode of season three, the not one, the fifth episode of Daleks Master Plan. That's what my head was until like few like one or two hours ago. That was what I was planning on reacting to tomorrow. But like it's all just gone all hay haywire. So apologies if this one's been a bit like just like not talking too much because one getting used to the style of. The reconstruction, having to read the stuff, my head having to go, hang on a minute, ah, oh, what do I remember, what don't I remember? And like stuff like that. And also the scrambled change in routine. I don't, my head sometimes doesn't do well with changes in routine. Sometimes it does really badly. So it's kind of made this one all over the place. But now with reaction to the next episode, I should be better because I. Once I've slept on it, I'll know. Like I, I know the plan now. I've what I've seen this reconstruction. I know the text. I know the kind of thing. I know the. I don't know if any other episodes have got it, but I can't believe that we. I, I didn't know there was like even a few seconds of reconstruction of of not reconstruction of original episode surviving. That's insane. That is so freaking cool that we got a even just a few seconds. It's amazing. Like, I didn't think any footage was surviving from this story. So, like, even if that was the only footage available, and, like, it's, you could see the, like, the edges of it, it looked like somebody had filmed off their TV. But that's so freaking cool. And, like, I've got, sorry, I've got the credits up on my screen. I really need to know, look up Francis DeWolf because I know that name. And that is pissing me off. I don't know if he's been in Doctor Who before at the moment because it's so late in my head and just after watching that, I can't recall. But I really freaking know that name. And it's pissing me off that I can't recall it. Then again, I've got so much crap going on in my head right now. It's all over the place. So, yeah, we're doing this one and obviously the reconstructions for the next three episodes, the other three episodes of this story. And the first episode of Dalek's Master Plan, we're going to be doing the reconstruction for that as well. But the second episode I've already done, it's already up on Patreon which you can find the link to in the description below. But that will come out after I've done the first episode. So Patreon's weeks ahead for that episode only. Yeah, it's all over the place. My head is scrambled. I need to stop now. My head has been is just gone really just like, I feel quite spaced out now. This is my head just trying to like catch up with everything that's gone on in the last few hours and that. So I just, I need to just, zone out with something I'm familiar with for a bit just to process and catch up because I'm I'm actually feeling quite spaced out all of a sudden now now that I've stopped and I've stopped watching this my head's just gone I feel like I'm like this like it, my head's that scrambled so I'm gonna stop now but I hope you guys are okay with me the reconstructions and me knowing these episodes ish but like as you've seen I've missed stuff I've forgotten stuff, stuff like that. But I hope you're okay with me doing stuff like that. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this episode. And um, if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again for the next one. Bye-bye.